gun, it doesn't fire as fast, so it doesn't have as much room for error as the KSG. You gotta hit that one shot, or you gotta like wait a little bit. Oh my god. So hello gamers, and welcome back to another video. So today, I'm gonna be showing you the top 10 best low rank guns in Phantom Forces. Make sure to check down below if you're subscribed, especially if you're a new player, because I have a ton of guides on my channel, and I plan on making a bunch of new ones and remastered ones. So please, check if you're subscribed, only like... 30% or what, I don't know what people say usually. But yeah, at number 10, we have the Intervention. I thought I would put this one on the list, but it's gotta get the number 10 spot. And also you will not find another sniper rifle on this list. And the reason for that is basically, sniper rifles are not good for low ranks usually. The exception is if you have very good aim, you can hit your torso shots or headshots, then you should definitely be running the Intervention because it's my highest kill sniper and I have every sniper. So I should probably know which one to use, you know what I'm saying? And the fact that I'm running the lowest rank sniper rifle, a rank zero gun, as my main sniper rifle means that it's gotta be pretty good. And it is, it has high velocity, high pen, high damage, high torso kill range. It is a really, really good gun. And before, because of the RPM difference, I would have given the Remington 700 this spot. But now that they nerfed the Remington 700 RPM, I don't feel like it's worth using considering it just doesn't one shot as far. So you probably want the torso kill range, especially if you're not that great and you're not gonna be hitting as many headshots. But even if you're good, this has higher velocity and kind of just, it's a way more effective one tap. So that's really why I recommend it. It's just bonk. Look at this fellow, Strider SMF. That's so funny. This guy was in the game before me because he has 12 kills right now. Now next up at number nine, we have a gun that I'm not a huge fan of, but it is very good for low ranks and that is the MP7. The setup that I'm currently using is a Gunner Stinger SMG setup that I made as a joke because... I don't really like the MP7. The recoil on this setup is especially bad because it has like muzzle break and retracted stock, which are two attachments I don't really recommend on this gun. I'm gonna be real, overall, it's not a super amazing all around great gun, but it's got pretty easy to control recoil. It's not a laser beam, but it's pretty easy to control because the recoil doesn't really have a lot of verticality. It's really just horizontal recoil and it fires very fast, but it doesn't really do the best damage or reload super fast. The reason I do recommend this is because most low rank players they can use it. They use it and they do pretty good with it. And that's why I think it's a great low rank gun. Not necessarily a great gun overall. It's kind of just a weak SMG. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it's extremely popular among low ranks. So it's worth checking out. It's like rank seven. Now at number eight, we have a shotgun. And this is a pretty fun and really good shotgun known as the KSG-12. And the KSG-12 is a rank one shotgun that does 32 damage in close range, which is really good pellet damage. It also fires pretty quickly. It's the fastest of the pump action shotguns. Not super fast for a semi-auto, but like that's pretty good. And it has a massive capacity. You can have 15 rounds, which is really good if you're not that great and you want to spam more. And also the one tapping is pretty effective, but only in very close range. This is not really the best all ranges shotgun, but like if you're in very close range, this is going to usually one tap. And I feel like it one taps almost more effectively than other shotguns, at least in my opinion, because the pellet damage is really good. It's going to kill with four, which is pretty generic. But if you hit like one headshot pellet, it will actually kill with three, even though the headshot damage on shotguns isn't much better than the body damage. So that's why I really recommend that you aim for the center of mass and not the head because the headshot hitbox is smaller so you're gonna hit less pellets and the bonus damage you get is about 1.1 times so about like three more damage it's really not a lot versus other guns which do about 40 percent more damage regardless though this is just a great shotgun it's very low rank it's very spammy the damage is pretty good and i think it's definitely one of the shotguns that gives you a lot of room for mistakes unlike some of the other shotguns like a double barrel shotgun or something like that where if you miss a couple of times you're really just kind of screwed but this shotgun is just you know you miss it really doesn't matter you got 15 rounds you can miss a few times and it fires pretty fast so you can hit those follow-up shots if you don't want to but i'm gonna be real for up to like 40 to 50 studs if you're hitting a pretty nice shot i'm talking like center of mass shot it's gonna kill in a single shot which is pretty good and you know past that range is not quite as great as you can see but high reserve pretty fast walk speed aiming speed even the reload is really good however reloading your entire magazine will take a very long time but i'm gonna be real you're never gonna run out of rounds i don't know how you would ever run out of rounds on this gun because you can constantly be reloading as you're firing which is really nice reloading a single shell will take like you know one second, you know? So I fire like this many, and then I go one, two, three, four, and I'm done, you know? Then I try to fight the next guy. And as you can see, this gun kind of falls off. At the number seven spot, we have a gun that's kind of underrated, and a lot of low ranks do really like it, but I think it's a good gun overall, and that's the UMP45. I'm gonna be real, this gun is kind of just underrated, like massively underrated. A lot of high ranks really think it sucks, but it really doesn't. It does really good damage for a PDW, doing 38 to 22, which is better than pretty much every other PDW, at least like the low rank ones. MP7 is gonna do like a full eight less damage, and this is going to take less hits to kill overall, just at any range, like, also, it's very accurate. It can two-shot kill to the head and three-shot kill to the body, which is really not bad at all. 
and it's also extremely accurate. You gotta realize, though, the muzzle velocity on this gun is kind of bad. As you can see, like, you're gonna kind of have to account for drop, and since it doesn't fire super fast, that can be a little bit difficult, but for very close ranges, that was 71 studs, and I hit him twice, and he died, which is really good. UMP45 is kind of an underrated gem. I don't think it's necessarily the best gun in the entire game, or the best PDW. It might be in the top 10 for some people. I put it number 10 like so it's in the top 10 however that is a bit debatable i know a lot of people don't really like it too much but a lot of low ranks really like it and as you can see like it works at range as well i'm not saying it's the best at range but you know it works for the number six spot we have a shotgun known as the remington 870 now the remington 870 is an interesting shotgun because it's kind of like a ksg but you have to sacrifice a little bit of rpm and a little bit of magazine capacity for being a way more powerful gun can you peek me so yeah, I just one-tapped that guy from like 70 studs. I think he was full health. And yeah, you can actually hit one-taps to like 90 studs with this gun. And it also fires really fast as well. And only requires three of its pellets to kill, which is really nice. I really like that. That means that even though the KSG it does like two less damage, so not a big deal, right? This only requires three out of eight of its pellets to land to get a kill. And the... KSG takes four. So basically, this is going to be a super effective one tap. I'm getting 80 stud one taps right now with this gun, and I'm not using a choke. I don't recommend a choke because that will lower the damage and you won't get the three pellet kill. Honestly, I feel like this gun is almost overpowered at the moment with the three pellet kill. Just keep in mind that even though it is a better gun, it doesn't fire as fast, so it doesn't have as much room for error as the KSG. You gotta hit that one shot, or you gotta like wait a little bit. Oh my gosh, can everyone stop rolling up on me. But at number five, we have the M4A1. Now this is another rank zero gun. It's a carbine. It fires fast and the damage isn't that great. It's a three hit kill down to a six hit kill. So it's actually going to have worse hits to kill than the UMP45. Pretty interesting. Like even at range, this does less damage than the UMP, but it fires faster, reloads faster, and it has a bigger default magazine. And I'm using 7.62 on this, which is a ammo type that increases the damage by quite a bit. However, the recoil in this gun is just amazing. So even though the 7.62 conversion increases recoil by a Line. This is still gonna be an absolute laser beam. Like, it literally does not miss. You know what I'm saying? The default demo is really good. 2545 is really good. 762 is really good. This is a really versatile gun. And I really recommend it. Like, if you're not really a huge fan of anything kind of special about a gun, because this is a bit generic, this does pretty good damage. Fires pretty fast. It reloads really fast. It's just a great overall gun. But yeah, I do recommend it for low ranks, especially if you're new to the game. Now, next up, we have another assault rifle, which I kind of feel like is a upgrade to the M4A1. It has better damage and a little bit more RPM. That is the AS Val. Now, the AS Val is not quite as good as it used to be, and it does have a 20 round mag. And you're like, well, it does have an extended mag. Don't use the extended mag. I don't think it's good because first off, it makes your reload quite a bit slower, and also it gives you 90 reserve ammo, so you're gonna run out of bullets really quick. And you also don't want to use full stock either because for some reason, the handling on this gun is kind of trash i'm not gonna lie the reload is slow the aiming speed and the walk speed are just kind of on the slower end for assault rifles and if you want to make them even slower then you can use the extended mag and all that kind of stuff but i really do recommend you stick with the default stuff like no full stock and the default size magazine but if you want better recoil and a bigger magazine you can have that but of course you're gonna have to pre-buy those or get like a thousand kills so i do recommend you try out not pre-buying anything on this gun and just use the default stuff because my current setup is stubby grip and delta sight basically and that's about it and the setup works completely completely fine man i am using the suppressor attachment which is a joke attachment it doesn't change the stats at all and i'm also using a green laser but it really doesn't matter if you use a green laser or not it fires fast and it has a really good three hit kill range for the rpm as well as a five hit kill at any range which is nice and a pretty quick reload and really low recoil as well as the fact that this gun is integrally suppressed so it will never show up on the radar and it's very quiet the radar in this game is not really that important people usually use it to tell the general direction of enemies not to find specific enemies so you're not really going to get like spotted because of that mostly because you know you're a player people can see you and the thing that's pretty important is that some people don't wear headphones in this game or don't really pay attention to the surroundings a ton and if you're shooting at them with a loud gun they're going to notice where you are and turn around but if you're shooting them from behind with a suppressed gun chances are they're not going to turn around and you're going to get a free kill which is pretty nice and yeah, it's just a really good gun overall. Check it out. I do feel like it's kind of an M4A1 upgrade in a lot of ways, although it has kind of a little bit more recoil. And of course, it doesn't have a 30 round mag by default, but I don't really care. I use 2545 on my M16 variants, which means I literally put a 20 round mag on them uh, by choice. And yeah, it's just, it, dude, it's such a good gun. I'm not going to lie. So at number three, we have the MP5K slash 10. This is specifically talking with the 10 millimeter conversion. The default gun is good. It's definitely better than the MP7 in a lot of ways. It reloads faster. It's more accurate. And it's just kind of a better overall gun. It's also lower rank. But the MP5K slash 10 will give you quite a bit more recoil. However, a three hit kill in close range. And that is 
just really good. You do kind of fall off at range with this conversion, and I do not recommend it for a map like this. But if you're going Bazaar, Metro, Castle Keep, or like one of the more close range maps, this gun will absolutely demolish. The walk speed on this gun is also just incredible. It is so quick. And as you can see, it kind of beams in close range. I'm not saying it has the best recoil or anything, but like really not that bad what you could do with this is basically for close range pull out the 10 mil conversion and then for like medium to long range use the default ammo so you can have the better recoil and kind of beam people anyway at the number two spot we have the colt lmg i'm using a conversion that gives it 40 rounds and more recoil which is 762 if you want to see my video ranking all the 762 m16 variants go check that out it's called ranking every m16 ak conversion and phantom forces but the default gun has about the same damage as this and it has something very cool which is a six round magazine and it comes with alt aim. Also this is a rank zero gun so you have it to begin with and most people who are smurfing are going to be using this gun because it's so incredibly strong because of the alt aim. So basically if you have 20 kills and like a laser sight all you need to do is just press T and you won't really need an actual sight on your gun because all you got to do is that alt aim by pressing T and then aiming down sights. Yes this counts as fully aiming and you don't get like hip fire accuracy you actually can hit people with the regular uninterrupted accuracy of the gun but all the camera recoil is removed. And if you want to, you can switch over to your regular sight for longer ranges. I find this really good because of the fact that you're not really gonna have like a reflex sight on your gun as a low rank. You can't really pre-buy it. You don't got enough credits for that. And also like pre-buying sights is kind of cringe as well. So until you get a good sight, it's kind of annoying to use the iron sights. But on this gun, it doesn't matter. You don't gotta use the iron sights. Iron sights on this gun are fine. They're not really that great, but you know, you don't gotta use them. And also the recoil is still great. I don't know. Even with a recoil increasing conversion on this gun, it isn't an absolute laser beam or anything. Like it's still kind and I got some recoil, but I don't really have a problem controlling it too much. Now you're probably wondering what is number one, and this might be a little bit biased, but I just feel like this is a great gun. And that gun is of course the Scar L with the nine millimeter conversion or just the default Scar L. If you wanna know more about my setup and everything on this gun, check out my video called I got a double 100 kill game with this setup. And that's a spoiler, yes, I did get two 100 kill games with this gun in a row. The first one was with the default ammo, it was 108 kills on dunes, and the second one was with nine millimeter and it was 135 kills on metro keep in mind i only had one 100 kill game before that and i don't really sweat on this game and i'm not really like the best player of all time either so like getting two 100 kill games in a row was pretty crazy and getting a 135 kill game was just insane like i was getting some pretty good multis i'm not gonna lie scar l9 mil is accurate it does good damage it fires fast it has a big magazine it has plenty of reserve ammo pretty quick velocity it is a absolutely great just well-rounded awesome overpowered conversion and the default gun is really good as well it doesn't fire as fast or do as great close range damage however the default gun is capable of killing with four shots at any range anywhere in the body which is really good and also since this gun is like pretty accurate you're going to be able to hit four shots at any range like nine mil doesn't really reduce the recoil by too much it does by a bit considering it increases the rpm but doesn't really reduce the accuracy the default gun though is still super accurate and nine mil is just insane on this gun like the fact that i got a 135 kill game and that was my second and third 100 kill game in a row it's just a great gun good for low ranks yes it's not a rank zero gun and yes might have to pay for the conversion on it last time i made this list i actually did put the scar l nine mil on it but it was nowhere near number one that's like the main main reason that I wanted to remake this video is because this conversion kind of changes the hierarchy for me. Like, yes, I thought it was great before, but I didn't think that it was this good. Like, this gun is just so good. Anyways, gamers, if you guys did enjoy, that is the top 10 low rank guns in Phantom Forces. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.